Something interesting is happening at one club in the Premier League which is not happening anywhere else in England. There is a growing Ultras fan movement at Crystal Palace Football Club and Selhurst Park is regularly being voted as one of the best atmospheres in the Premier League. In my journey to sample Europe's best football atmospheres, I'm going to go check this one out as it's right on my doorstep. Today is the first game of the season and apparently the Ultras are going to put on quite a show to celebrate 100 years of Crystal Palace. It is going to be Crystal Palace versus West Ham, London Derby. The Homestale Fanatics were formed in 2005 and take influence from ultra culture groups in continental Europe, but they are the only group of their kind in the Premier League. However, they've also been subject to a bit of difficult treatment from Croydon Council, who tried to clamp down on their banners and activities. In a country where the shadow of football hooliganism from the 80s and 90s still lingers, is this a valid response from the council, or are they showing a lack of understanding for modern football? Let's find out if Premier League and Ultra Culture commit. So we're outside the White Horse Lane stand now, uh, waiting to go in. It's a good atmosphere around here, they've got a small fan zone. We've also got Sainsbury's built into the stand itself, it's pretty strange, I've never seen that before. But generally, all in all, it's, uh, it's a good vibe, first game of the season. Oliver Glasner as well, first full season. It'll be interesting to see the Homestale Fanatics today, because Oliver Glasner obviously came from uh, Frankfurt, where they have a big ultra scene. So I'm really, really interested to see what it's like. It's a classic old school stadium, four separated uh, terraces, residential area and it's just got a good vibe it reminds me of actually the old days so we'll check it out at half time Palace have definitely had the better chances I'm really um, a fan of the Ultras behind the goal they definitely make a good atmosphere playing their uh, drum bowl through the game now I'm going to get a chicken bottle pie it is 4 and hopefully we see some more action in the second half So, I've had to wait until I get home. The weather is terrible at the moment. Torrential rain, you would not believe it is the middle of the summer. What did I think about... Oh, glasses, steam up. <laughs> what did I think about the game at Selhurst Park today? Crystal Palace's stadium's nice, it's nostalgic. The Crystal Palace Ultras were behind the goal, that's the Homesdale Fanatics. They did sing all game, but I would actually say that the West Ham travelling fans were a lot louder. The game itself, Crystal Palace had the best chance in the first half, Eze hit the bar. And then second half, West Ham had the best chances and took from as well. There was a really funny moment actually where the West Ham fans celebrated so much that it burst through the advertising. What is my conclusion on the Crystal Palace? ultras i think that they're quite restricted in what they can do at the start of the game they had all the flag displays similar to what you would get in someone like dortmund but they didn't have the banners they didn't have the pyro it's not the full experience you get on the continent it is a good way of keeping the noise up in the stadium they played all game and they should be credited for trying to make an atmosphere so in conclusion the search for the best atmosphere in the premier league continues mm -hmm.